How are you all doing? I'm absolutely fine here. Now friends, Napoleon once said that you dare not wake up China, otherwise it's gonna shock the world. And now I think that China has woken up. So I guess you have understood what today's topic is. Today, we are going to talk about China's rise to becoming a superpower. Now friends, since 1898, America has enjoyed the status of a superpower. But now, China is also fighting for the same. So let us look at some hard factual data to get a clear view about it. Now friends, to measure how fast a country is growing in the terms of economy, we can see at its GDP. Yes friends, gross domestic product. So friends, the GDP of China has increased by 6.1% whereas America's GDP has increased 2.3%. So you can see a huge difference, a huge difference like about China's economy is hiking or increasing three times than that of USA and that is a lot. Now friends, what are the reasons for such a high GDP growth? So first of all, let us look at the population of both China and America. So China's population is 1.4 billion whereas America's population is 330 million. So friends, China has four times the population of America. So where one American person works for a single job, China can employ four people to do the same job. So we can see that they just have much, much more manpower. Yes. Now, another reason is that like before 30 years when China started developing, at that time, China was more of an agricultural country. Yes. So friends, at that time, the normal income of a worker was $150, right? Whereas in America, it was much, much higher. So that's why countries thought that why don't we like set up our factories in China because we are getting a discount. But now, it has increased to $13,500. So you can see that China has developed very, very much. So there's a growth of 8,500% in the normal income of a worker. So that is truly tremendous. Now friends, let us look at manufacturing. So yes friends, as I told that companies set up their factories in China because they were getting a discount. That's why China manufactures many things. I mean to say like how many times you have went to a shop and found out on its label that it was made in China. Like I have seen it many times. So yes friends, China sells many many things, exports many many things to different countries but has to import very less things. So mostly every country suffers from a trade deficit with China. Like USA, USA suffers a huge trade deficit with China. So China is growing in that field also now. Now let us look at tech sector. So friends, China is not only competing in economy and in manufacturing, but it is also competing in technology. Now let us look at 5G. So Huawei's 5G is the leading model in 5G technology and China wants that they should be 5G networking the whole of China and they also want to take their 5G network outside China which will increase their power and their influence all over the world. But some countries like the United States, Britain and Australia have banned Huawei's 5G. But it's okay. It's okay, man, because China is working in other things as well. Now, before, whenever we used to think about social media apps, we used to remember like Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook. But now, one more app clicks in our mind, which is TikTok. Yes, friends, TikTok is a Chinese app, whereas all other apps like Instagram, 
Facebook, WhatsApp and all of those are American companies. So China is competing in tech sector also really really well. But now friends, there are some things which stifle China's growth. I better be serious now. So yes friends, there are some things which really stifle China's growth such as the intervention of government in all the financial things. Such as whenever any company has to do trade with a Chinese company, there will definitely be some Chinese government's intervention. Yes friends, there is not like free market, like where companies have their own liberty. Yes. Now another thing is that the world is not on board with China becoming the dominant superpower. Because friends, like the world does not like the communist party's policies but then also china is trying to gain more influence much much more influence friends i'm talking about the one belt one road system yes friends china is trying to make a route all over the globe to increase its influence so that it can trade with other countries very easily. China calls it a bit to enhance regional connectivity and embrace a brighter future. But some people think that it is China's strategy to like gain much much more influence. Yes friends. Now friends you see as I told in the beginning that now a normal Chinese worker's income is 13,500 US dollars. So friends, the companies are not getting the 80% discount they used to get in China. They're not getting it anymore. And now also China is developing at a very, very fast pace. So some companies are thinking that we should move our factories out of China. Places like Vietnam, India and Mexico. Yes friends, so these three countries are getting profit from China's decline or I should say of some companies thinking to leave China. Yes, I should not call it decline I think. So friends, but then also can China do it? The economics of everything says yes, but you see Becoming a dominant superpower is not only about economics, but you need power, you need influence, you need diplomacy, right? But again, can China do it? I think time will tell us this answer. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and now I'm going to see you next time. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and tap the bell icon also. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.